Robots are very integrated in the homes and offices and over in Asia. They're starting to make their way over the United States in the same capacity. I'm actually here right now. We are representing Future Robot, and we have the Fiora here. I got Richard Amato. He's here talking, Amato, I say Amato, you say Amato, don't forget about it. So tell me a little bit about this robot. It's pretty cool looking like Rosie from the Jetsons, yeah? Exactly, yeah. Actually, uh, we've nicknamed her Rosie because it brings back those childhood memories. <laughs> That's right, I knew it was Rosie. Okay, perfect. Well, uh, tell us a little bit about Rosie here. What, what does she do? Sure, yeah, this is the Furo S model, which we have three basic models, and this is the highest level, the most advanced model we have. Um, and this is more for commercial applications, for uses at like airports. Right now, we've got them in airports, shopping malls, um, movie theaters. And this is, in essence, an intelligent kiosk that has a very strong artificial intelligence engine. Yeah, and so, some, some of the things it can do is like at airports, it can help you check in, it can help you find your gate. At the movie theaters, actually, you can order your movie tickets, it can actually show you trailers, uh, there's advertising opportunities with it, games and all. You know, it's just a fun thing, but it's got a lot of power to it as well. Gotcha, yeah, so no more dealing with those little snotty-nosed teenagers at the, the movie theater chaos, like, you want your ticket? Now you can just deal with Rosie. Well, that, that's pretty awesome, man, but I'm interested in the home one, like as far as getting robots in the home, what are the benefits of that device? Sure, yeah, the other model we have, which you can see in the background, is the Furo I. Um, there's two basic um, versions of that, the security version, which is simply a camera that you can remotely control, as well as the Furo I home version, which is the one with the tablet on it. And that one kind of acts as a, a home server, in essence, to connect all the various uh, parties in the home. You know, you get the kids who have their smartphones and the parents, get them all connected together, talk through it, you can play games on it, you can use it for family planning, calendaring, um, teleconferencing, a lot of different things. Gotcha, wow, that's pretty awesome. Skynet really is starting to take over the world, aren't they? They are, I think Arnold's coming back and pretty soon. Yeah, we'll put his face in there. I mean, or well, maybe we'll put my face in there, either way. Somebody's face will be there. I'll be back with more information on robots. Check out more videos from CES at PopSci.com or for the full-length show, go to Portico.tv.